Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another day of the beery Christmas calendar by Severe Beer and Hopped. So uh, thanks to Severe Beer and Hopped for the calendar. Today it's the 8th of December. So let's see what's in the box today. So far it's been pretty interesting and most of it have been kind of like introductory beers for people uh, who are getting into craft beer I'd say personally. Uh, but it's been fun doing it blind. So the 8th, where is it? We got it here. And the one we had on the 7th yesterday was the best so far for me. It was a bit more modern, a bit more... Uh, I, I already, just by seeing the cap now, I already know that this brewer is, the beer is probably brewed at the Poifourie in Belgium. <laughs> this also says Apéro, so I guess that's an aperitif. 6 to 8 ABV, or degrees, it's a certain recommended serving temp. So let's see, the 8th of December here. I was actually right. This is from Toel here in Denmark. They actually also have their own uh, Christmas calendar, uh, just only with their beers. I haven't reviewed a beer from these guys in a long time. Uh, great brewery, originally founded by Toel and Tobias. Uh, now it's Toel and some other people. Tobias left the brewery uh, earlier this year, actually. They also have a brew pub in Copenhagen called Bulls, and they're doing some nice beers. So this one, I think, is a new Christmas release specifically for this year, actually, uh, because I don't think it was there last year. But this is the Toul Winter Wonderland Wheat IPA. So this is a... Oh. So Winter Wheat IPA Ultra Truffle Dance Dance... The, okay, uh, what? Something with rich, rich fruits and something with Père Noël. So that's something with Santa, I think. Uh, water malts... Blé? Who belongs hops and and uh, which is uh, I guess yeast, but I know don't, don't know what B L E is. That's the, the thing with this. Like they sell it internationally, but all of this is um, you know with this package is like everything is in French because Savio B is a French based company, so <laughs> the labels are hard to understand. But there is English on here. It's six point two percent, and it says that it's brewed specially for their the friend their uh, towards friends at Savio Beer, and they wish us a beery Christmas. So, should be from a wheat IPA. So yeah, let's, let's get this one cracked and poured. Okay guys, so I'm back with the Toul Winter Wonderland Wheat IPA poured in the glass. A nice lightly hazy golden yellow color with a very nice frothy white head that generates super easily or regenerates. Looks very nice in the glass. Actually, it's funny, the reason why I instantly knew this beer was brewed at De Poif in Belgium was because of the cap. They use these kind of caps and the look with the date, date stamp and everything. But actually, this is the first Danish beer of the box. I guess this is the Danish beer of the box. Um, yeah, it's it's cool to see so many beers from all over the globe and especially a total beer. But the only thing as well, which has been pr pretty much my biggest beef with this box so far when it comes to at least the hoppy beer game, is it seems like the beers are, were like bottled around August. And then like, there is, I, I would prefer much fresher to be honest, but I guess that's what happens when, uh, when you know, um, you have to prepare so far in advance for the calendar and everything. But that's something we can get into like a little bit, like a general thoughts of the calendar once we hit the hit the twenty fourth, I guess. But let's check it out, guys. The total winter one line. I haven't had a total beer in a long time, so this will be good. Or oh, actually, not not too long. Actually, I had the Yule milk rum, but let's check out the aroma. Ah, nice. Uh, that smells pretty good, actually. Sweet, light Pilsner malt, lots of apricot, lots of pineapple, sweet citrus. It's got a bit of a pine pithy aroma. It smells like a West Coast IPA. Uh, kind of like the San Diego style, good bitterness. A little bit of a sweet malt breadiness. It's, it's interesting. They say there are so many different styles, but the golden ales are kind of like quite hoppy. The pale ale was, yeah, not really. But here we have something that jumps a bit in your face. But since this is a wheat IPA, I, get, I wonder if they also have just something that's called an IPA in there. We never know. We'll find out. But yeah, some grapefruit as well, sweet citrus. It smells pretty nice, actually. Some of the wheatiness underneath. Let's give it a taste. Especially considering if this was bottled in August. But let's check it out, guys. Cheers. And also happy 8th of December. Follows through a bit on the flavor. I mean, it's still quite nice IPA, for sure. It's just not as punchy. It luckily doesn't have like tea leaf hoppy flavor or anything like that that you often get. And it, awesomely enough, light malt backbone, so you're not getting cloying sweetness or anything. So it, it lasts a bit better. 
um, with like age, but but you can definitely taste that the hops aren't crazy popping. Um, and the reason why I'm guessing that this was from uh, bottled on the 9th of August is because usually all the beers that come out of the port has about a two year shelf life on them, no matter what beer it is. So two years is because it says it's best before the the 9th of August 2019. So that's just how I'm guessing that. But pretty good flavor still. There's the crackery wheaty backbone. Uh, the hops are definitely more subdued, but I'm getting like lemony citrus notes. I'm definitely getting that grapefruit and pine I talked about before. There's the tropical fruit is a bit lighter than on the aroma. So it's still a quite nice IPA. I really wanted to have tried this fresh. It tastes like it would have been a quite nice kind of West Coast IPA. But interestingly enough, it's, it doesn't really have the bitterness of a West Coast IPA. It's like the flavors I associate with like the San Diego hoppy beers, but it has maybe the bitterness of a like a Midwest IPA. Super drinkable though, I'm not tasting the 6.2% here either. This is actually quite nice. Um, oh, okay, it does have a nice bitter kick, but it's not, like the San Diego style IPAs, they're just a bit more punchy. I know it's quite hazy actually, but yeah, grapefruit, pine, some sweet citrus notes. The pineapple, the more I drink it, I really don't get. There's some spiciness, a spicy hop note to it as well. Pine, pine. I really wonder what B L E or E apostrophe means. Um, I have no clue. Um, but it's quite nice. It's I, I'd say maybe the second best of the bunch so far because the the one from yesterday, the juicy by um, um, Tiny Rebel, even though it got and all that crazy stuff, it packed so much flavor. And I think the reason why it packed so much flavor was because of the fruit juice in there as well. I just amplifies everything a bit. You can feel like the flavors are a bit subdued here on the hop side. And there's a crisp wheatiness, a crackery bready malt flavors, a little bit of sweet malt. Awesomely not cloying at all. Dead fresh would probably be like a 93, 92, but as is right now I'm going to 89. Uh, I still think the juicy was a bit bitter, but still nice stuff. Still, I mean, too, it makes great beers. One of the, the better breweries here in Denmark. So, um, guys, if you had a chance to check out the Toul Winter Wonderland, let me know what you thought of it. And I actually just saw in a comment, I just didn't reply yet the other day, that there was a case of, was it the 6th or the 3rd of December? I can't remember. But one of the dates, uh, my beer was different to one of the people who bought the calendar's beer or something like that. He, like, I got a comment like saying, that was not my beer for today. So, I don't know if I got a beer that it was mixed up or he, his was or whatever. But <laughs> that's how it goes sometimes, guys. We all make mistakes. So... Let me know what you think of this one, guys. And uh, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for tomorrow to check out what's behind door number nine in the Savira Beer and Hopped Beer Christmas. Cheers, guys.